Part three then asks us to find the equation of the regression line. Now, this is another reason why it's good to save SXY and SXX into the memory of your calculator because we're going to need them again here because the regression line equation is a plus bx where b is the gradient which is sxy over sxx so I've got those stored in my memory that was c if you remember and this one's a so I can now just type in on my calculator c divided by a to get that value of b and that's coming out at 22.5 and I'm going to store that in memory D again in case I need to use it later A is Y bar and I'll work Y bar out in a minute minus B X bar where X bar and Y bar are the mean of X and the mean of Y so that's going to be the sum of X over N which was 7 X was sum of X was 202 and y bar is going to be the sum of the y's which was 4906 divided by 7 um, which we could write out as a decimal I'm not actually going to bother I'm just going to type that in as x bar and y bar into the calculation I'm just going to write 202.7 uh, 202 over 7 okay so We can then work out A. So A is going to be this 4906 over 7 minus 202 over 7 times that D value that we've stored into the memory. And that's coming out at 50 point to three significant figures 50.4 sorry 50.5 and I may as well store that into memory E so finally we can then go right back up to the top the first thing we wrote down and just plug in what we've found now so the regression line is going to be y equals a which is 50.5 plus b which was 22.5x so that's my regression line 